everyone. Today we'll continue in our professional series on missions ministries. We are now in our fourth lesson. As we continue, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we bless you. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for another day you've given to us that continue, Lord, in our lessons on missions ministries. We are now, Lord, in our fourth lesson, O God, as in to serve in obeying the great commandments. Father, it is my prayer that to be to anoint my lips as I speak your word. To those who are watching this video, the subscribers, or those who are not yet my subscribers, I pray, God, open up their hearts and their understanding. Set them, Lord, to know more about you. And I pray, God, that you will be glorified in this session. Even Holy Spirit, the recognize you are our ultimate teacher. Do you to teach us all truths, convict us, teach us, guide us as we continue to learn more of today. In our fourth lesson, serve in obeying the great commandments. Lord, to meet you at what time, to you be the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today, we will be continuing our devotional series on missions ministries. Now, in our fourth lesson, serve in obeying the great commandments. Before we continue, we are still in our same verse. As written in Matthew chapter 24, verse 14, as saying, And this gospel of the kingdom will be put in the whole world as a testimony to all nations, then the end will come. As a review, we learn that in the missions ministries, there is a, that need in the mobilization of team leadership, intentional praying, and sensitivity in the Holy Spirit. Today, in this fourth lesson, serve in obeying the great commandments, as written in Matthew 24, 35 to 40, as saying, One of them, an expert in the law, tested him with this question, Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it, Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hung on these two commandments. First, love of Christ, as written in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 11 to 15, as saying, Since then, we know that what is to fear the Lord. We try to persuade others what we are plain is what is plain to God, and I hope it's also plain to your conscience. We are not trying to commend ourselves to you again, but are giving you an opportunity to take pride in us. So that you can answer those who take pride in what is seen rather than in what is in the heart. If we are out of our mind, as some say, it is for God. If we are in our right mind, it is for you. For Christ's love compels us because we are convinced that one died for all and therefore all died. And he died for all that those who live should no longer live for themselves, but for him who died for them and was raised again. Second, Love for God's people, as written in Colossians chapter 1, verse 3 to 6, as saying, We only thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and we pray for you because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, and of the love you have for all God's people. The faith and love that spring from the hope stood up for you in heaven, and about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you in the same way, the gospel is bearing fruit and growing throughout the whole world, just as it has been doing among you since the day you heard it and truly understood God's grace. Third, servants for Jesus' sake. As we turn in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4 to 5, as saying, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the Glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we preach is not ourselves, but 
Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. Take note, as you continue to watch this video and even reviewing this video, in today's devotion lesson, allow the Holy Spirit to test new spiritual insights as we continue to learn and meditate the scripture to serve in obeying the great commandment, then apply them in our lives. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us the greatest commandments to serve you and others. Anoint us, Holy Spirit, as we live, preach the gospel, and make disciples to all peoples for the love of Christ, love of God's people, and the lost as servants. In Jesus' name, Amen. Have a blessed day. Keep safe in Jesus as we continue to serve God in our lifetime. Till next time, to God be the glory.